Hi there, Serial Trader here. I got a request to look at XLE, do a little update. And all right, so since the last time I looked at XLE, I was working this five wave down, working this potential three wave uh, rally up, and then looking for another five wave down for maybe a larger ABC, something like that. Now, I think on the last video, I had it kind of labeled like this, okay? So we had this little ABC, or what appeared to be a potential ABC, then we did a, get that breakdown starting to look good, but then we immediately reversed back up. So I'll give my take on this. And okay, if we're still gonna do another leg down here, uh, you know, five down for A, three up for B, another five down for C for a larger correction. If we're still gonna do that, we gotta stop going up here pretty soon. We've already gotten past the 618 retracement and we're coming up on the 786 retracement of this initial five wave sequence down so we gotta we gotta stop out really really soon here near current levels and reverse back down uh otherwise and uh this actually makes a reasonable amount of sense let me just clean this up so if we just keep going and obviously start making new highs this is off the table for a larger pullback but this is a, this is still a clear five wave move down. So how do we accommodate that? Well, okay. The way I would look at that is we have this. It looks like a three wave move down. Okay, let me just drop the degree down a bit here. So that looks like an ABC down. This potentially looks like a three wave move up to a new high, right? Maybe a little triangle A B C D E. With triangle B, A, B, C up, and then five waves down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so what pattern would be a three wave move down, then a three wave move up to a new high, and then a five wave move down to new low, and then back up uh, to make new highs in a, in a new uptrend? Well, that would be an expanded flat, a three, three, five. Just get that degree to match up and that is certainly viable okay and perhaps this was like a larger wave three this was an abc expanded flat larger wave four and then we'd be doing the wave five up okay that is certainly possible and if this is the case then we would have to relabel the move off of our low here as perhaps a one and then abc little expanded flat two up now this does kind of look like a third wave in motion, looks uh, impulsive, gapping and all that sort of thing. Three, four, five, something like that, potentially in play. Now, I'm, I'm not being generous enough here. This three could go a lot farther and four or five could be significantly higher levels if this is the pattern in play, right? Uh, but basically it's hard to take a high confidence view because either scenario, whether it would be five down, three up, looking for another five down, or three, three, five, and now starting a new impulse wave up. Either scenario currently kind of has an equal footing as far as I'm concerned. Um, so I don't really see much of a trade here until something, you know, starts changing. Now, if we, if we stall out here right away and get a good, you know, clear reversal down, okay, maybe a little really small degree, five waves down, three waves up, that's a potential bearish entry but if we don't get that and we keep going well i think we would just be heading quite a bit higher uh and how much higher well let's uh let's have a look so interestingly enough let me just clean this all up if the more bullish scenario or i should say the more immediately bullish scenario is in play then this is probably one two three a, B, C, four, and then we'd be working the five. So we could be going, I mean, just eyeballing it here. Well into the 60s. Well into the 60s. Or beyond, perhaps, in a fifth wave. If the bullish scenario, the, the immediately bullish scenario is in play. Which it certainly could be. Anyway, that's my current take on XLE. Interesting action since the last uh, time I looked at it. So, always, always keeps you on your toes, for sure. All right, Serial Trader signing off.